Hello boys and girls. Here on the screen you see something I've created uh, in the afternoon. Um, you see a random point cloud um, crystallizing to some dinosaur. This dinosaur is a known uh, data set. Um, and I just patched together a few PNGs um, using the diffusion code from uh, this is a random image <laughs> the diffusion code from this uh, small github repository here is the jupyter notebook part the repository here is called small diffusion um, that does a, a bunch of things uh, has this data set has this um the diffusion code for for this simple point da uh, cloud data set but also some other wrappers um i was reading this um because i will be at icml next month that's a machine learning conference and it happens to be in VM vienna where i am uh, here is the author of a paper that is contributing to the conference and he's also supporting this library, I think it's like uh, two years old or so. I found it nice uh, as some explainer. Uh, this paper um, takes, uh, like explains uh, diffusion models, but takes a little bit of a more, how to say, a geometric perspective, let's say. It emphasizes uh, projections. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, there's some, there's some projection math. There is this, um, explainer um, that you're just seeing on the screen on this guy's website and this is basically a condensed version of this paper that is contributing i'm just pointing it out to you in this video i'm not i'm going to keep it short maybe even under three minutes um, i'm just pointing you to this paper because it has this nice python code and you can see the python code and the theoretical considerations in parallel and learn something at least that's what i'm doing um, yeah, so as you see, this is this is similar the similar graphics that you see on this um, on the web page. Except I scroll down, there is also like half of this paper is a fat appendix with a, with a bunch of more math. Um, uh, yeah, just so uh, for context, if you don't know at all what uh, these diffusion uh, ML routines do, you you know you have some data and you uh, noisify it, and then you have some machine learning routine running that tries to learn the denoising process of course this is only interesting like this all the stable diffusion and this kind of stuff is only interesting if you can do some input you know you you say you want a uh, cat with uh, a, a big red nose or something like that and then you would need a much bigger data set than you know just this one one uh, dinosaur um the demo that i sh showed you that is av uh, available also in this jupyter notebook um, just literally uses one uh, data item, data set, this point cloud, and uh, the, there's no infra there's not the whole infrastructure there. But the the um, the paper also goes in 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 that direction as well. Yeah, I, I uh, just to cite, I I um, saw this nice cat gets diffused and uh, and back. Um, uh, image by this uh, by this guy here, um, a young PhD student, I guess, uh, on the web. You can read his name here. I'm not pronouncing any names um, in fear of saying them wrong. Uh, but here is some other nice imagery of uh, diffusion approaches with, um, as, he, as he writes, um, with uh, like different uh, tweaks. And you see that um, in all of them, you have this sort of process getting from noise to to, uh, to some nice image. Uh, okay, I will leave it at that. I <laughs> At two minutes, I thought I can stay under three minutes. Um, if you're interested in this topic, let me know in the comments and I might make some more videos. I uh, looked into diffusion incidentally, or maybe correlatedly, um, because of the Markov chain stuff, which is sort of close. It's also stochastic differential equations tangent. So I'm interested in it anyway. So, okay, um, with that, um, I, uh, wish you a night, nice, uh, Sunday.